This video is designed to help you start an equipment rental business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's an equipment rental business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful equipment rental business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Many equipment rental companies augment their equipment fleets to include general tools, HVAC, power generation, and event, party, wedding, concerts, etc. equipment. The R segments the rental industry into three primary categories, construction and industrial equipment. This category primarily serves construction firms and contractors. Equipment typically includes earth-moving equipment such as excavators, loaders, backhoes, and compaction machinery, light towers, aerial work platforms. This segment can also include road infrastructure, energy projects, commercial buildings, malls, demolition, and more. DIY General Tool Equipment This category includes equipment typically rented by professional contractors, and do-it-yourself, DIY, homeowners. Equipment includes small and light construction equipment, such as power tools, air compressors, aerators, lawn tractors, compact tractors, skid steer loaders and small excavators, etc. Party slash wedding slash event equipment. This category includes equipment rented by consumers, homeowners, and businesses for parties and events. Items can include tents, tables, chairs, lights, dance floors, decorations, linens, plates and glassware, portable restrooms, concession equipment, inflatables, moon walks, and other furniture. Projects can range from large corporate events to small family gatherings. When you start your rental company, you can choose to serve one or more categories. Many established rental companies offer an all-in-one stop rental offering. You should research your local market demand for each category, to understand which suits your local market best. Aerial lifts and earth moving equipment, tend to be popular categories for equipment rental companies. When you choose your categories, you should study the local rental rates, seasonality, demand fluctuates through the year based on weather and construction patterns, and competition. Equipment Rental Customers The equipment and event rental industry offers customers the opportunity to gain the benefit of using goods, from excavators and aerial lifts to party tents, for a defined time. Customers are attracted to rentals instead of purchasing equipment for multiple reasons, including control expenses and inventory. Wide selection of equipment. Professional customer care slash service. No need for maintenance or downtime. Save on storage slash warehousing. Reliability. Equipment tracking. Conserve capital. Manage risk. Customers can range from professional contractors who need area lifts, for several months, to an average homeowner who needs a stump grinder for a weekend project. Purchase new or used equipment for fleet. Many newly formed rental companies start with just one used machine, and later they upgrade and expand their fleets over time. You can shop online for new and used equipment to buy your first equipment. Create safety and risk management plans. Buy proper insurance to cover your business from accidents and injuries. Talk with your business insurer, so you understand what is covered and what is not covered. Create safety guidelines for your shop, and teach employees how to handle the equipment safely. Make sure any dangerous areas in your storage or warehouse are safeguarded. Organize business operations. Choose a store location. You will need enough space to store your equipment, an office area for you and other workers to work, a service area, a check and slash out counter to handle customers, and a showroom for equipment, accessories and more. A nice looking showroom can be a strong selling point for your business. It gives your customers an opportunity to look around and see what you have to offer. You should think of your showroom as your marketing platform. Make maintenance and fleet refresh plan. You should pay close attention to the condition of your fleet. Inspect it after every rental and perform both scheduled and unscheduled maintenance as needed. The top performing rental companies typically have a systematized process to inspect, clean, and renew equipment after it is returned from a job site. As your equipment begins to age, you should consider selling your older equipment and buying newer equipment, to keep your overall rental fleet relatively new. Large rental companies typically target an average fleet age of about 50 months, 4 years old, which means that they sell equipment when it gets to be about 7 to 8 years old. Customers often prefer newer equipment that looks good. Rental rates. Rental rates are often determined by local supply and demand for rental equipment in your area. Rates go up and down based on time of year, type of equipment, and equipment condition. Rental rate changes are very important to monitor. 
Each $1 change in rental rate is a $1 increase or decrease to the bottom line. When your rental rate changes, your other costs do not change much. Typically most companies will provide daily, weekly and monthly rental rates. As the rental term extends, the average daily rate tends to go lower. Weekly and monthly rentals can often be more profitable for equipment rental companies, even if their average daily rental rates are lower, because there are not as many inefficiencies associated with them, transportation to and from the location, downtime for inspection and servicing, etc. Utilization Utilization is an important metric that you should watch carefully. Higher utilization typically means higher profitability. The equipment rental business is largely a fixed cost business, your equipment, building lease, employee costs all stay about the same whether you have your equipment out on rent or not. Utilization is a two-edged sword. If your utilization is too high, and you do not have any equipment available for rent, then customers may be forced to go with a competitor. It's best to increase your fleet size, if utilization goes too high, and reduce your fleet size if your utilization goes too low. Seasonality. Construction tends to be very seasonal, depending on your geographic location. You should research the swings in seasonality, to understand business trends during the busy summertime and slower wintertime. Cyclicality. Equipment rental is susceptible to economic cycles. When the broader economy slows and construction pulls back, the demand for rental equipment also slows. Typically rental rates will soften or fall during a downturn. The next part of the video is not specific to an equipment rental business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the equipment rental business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful equipment rental business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis For a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money, in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? 3. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? Seven. 
Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs, try to start and operate a business, without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items, you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available, to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses, on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include, your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses, and multiply it by 3, this is the amount of cash you will need, to cover operating expenses for 3 months. Deposit this amount in a savings account, before opening your business, use it only for those purposes listed in the above list, because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs, to the total expenses for 3 months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for 3 months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses, is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business, will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month, because of seasonal patterns, and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection, will show if the monthly cash balance, is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business, for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running an equipment rental business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself. But don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free equipment rental business plan gift. Go to the description below this video, to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, and hit the subscribe button. 
For more videos like this.